glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We thank you for joining us today. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. We got another powerful word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us go ahead and pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now with great joy and great excitement, with great expectation, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we want to activate your word in our life, Father God. We want the word manifested in our life. We want the power of prayer manifested, Father God. Hallelujah, that it is tangible, that we can see it and feel it. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the power of prayer, Lord. We thank you that our prayers can reach heaven. We thank you that our prayers can reach your throne room. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you, we bless you, we magnify you, and we honor you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, Lord, I pray that you will anoint me to preach with boldness and courage, with revelation and wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Let those who have ears, let them hear what thus said the Lord in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we want to digest your word. We want to apply it to our life, Lord. We want to be a living epistle. We want to be walking in your word, Father God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Now, we pray that you stir the gifts up on the inside of us, Lord, preaching, teaching, and prophesying the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, Lord, the laying on of hands, Father God. Hallelujah, discernment, Father God, in the name of Jesus, the power of prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen, and I do thank you again for joining us. Remember, you can leave comments on uh, on the Facebook Live. You can leave comments uh, on the Zoom, uh, uh, YouTube when we get it on there. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. We, uh, I'm going to piggyback off of what we was, that what we were praying about yesterday. And that was the kingdom, that was the gospel of the kingdom. This message is going to start off with that same scripture. And this subject is, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. So we got to know that we got to preach this gospel through the whole world. Hallelujah. Before God come back and give us his judgment, this word has to go throughout the whole world. People have to hear it. People have to have the uh, um, um, the chance to receive it. You can receive it or you can reject it. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. We pray that you receive it. Hallelujah. We bind every lying spirit. We bind every spirit of deception. We bind every spirit of stubbornness in the name of Jesus. Lord, let us hear the truth. Let us accept the truth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <clears throat> amen and amen. Amen. So let's go to Matthew chapter 24, <clears throat> and we are going to read verse 14 and 15. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14 and 15. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand it. So now he's telling you, glory to God, that this gospel must be preached throughout the whole world for witness to all the nations. That's what we need to do. Glory to your mighty name. 
Hallelujah. <clears throat> Verse 15. Hallelujah. Mm. It says, then it says, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, when you shall therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, you see that everywhere you go now. You see abomination and you see uh 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 Hallelujah. De uh, desolation. You see abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel. People all over the world right now, they are using uh, uh, abominations. Hallelujah. And they saying it's holy. They're saying it's right. That is not what the word of God say. You can't be sitting up here in abomination and you saying that you're going to heaven. I don't care how often you go to church. I don't care how often you read this Bible. If you don't get out of your abomination, if you don't get out of your sin, hallelujah, glory to God, hell will be your home. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 15 again, Matthew chapter 24, verse 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, when you shall see, therefore, the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet. He stand in his, the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand it. So now we got people reading the gospel, reading the Bible, and they don't understand it. They are being deceived or they just don't want to know the truth. Sometimes you just don't want to accept it. It's not about you being deceived. Sometimes you just don't want to accept it. Hallelujah. You want to stay in your sin. You want to stay in your abomination, which is desolation. Hallelujah. God don't like sin, but he hates abomination. It goes against the very laws of nature. He said it is vile. It is disgusting. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we can't put abomination in there and say it's okay. Well, God loves everybody. Yes, he do. And yes, we understand that. But when you are into abominations, you are in the desolation. Hallelujah. The LBGT, them, that's abomination. Glory to God. I said it's abomination. Read your Bible. It has nothing to do with hate speech. It has everything to do with the word of God and what, what God says about it. Hallelujah. This gospel has to be preached throughout the whole world. And then the end shall come. We read that at the end of verse 14. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 24. We're still there. And let's read verse 14, which is our base scripture today. Hallelujah. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So until everybody has had a chance to hear the gospel, hallelujah, we talking about the gospel. We talking about strong gospel. We're, we ain't talking about nothing sugar-coated. We ain't talking about nothing watered down. We talk about God's just uh, judgment. We talk about his mercy. We talk about his long suffering. God is a loving God. He's a merciful God. He's a forgiving God. But you got to understand he also is a God of judgment. Hallelujah. Thank God for his mercy and thank God for his long suffering with me. I'm talking about me, myself, and I right now. God loves you. Your job is to live for Christ to the best of your ability, according to the word, not according to what you think, not according to what people say, not according to what bishop a bishop say, and the bishop could be totally off. You got to read this Bible. You are supposed to have a preacher. That's what the Bible says. But if the preacher ain't preaching sound doctrine, you need to go, go somewhere where the preacher is preaching sound doctrine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Remember the subject. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Hallelujah. This gospel of the kingdom of God will be preached in all the world. Then the end 
shall come. But until then, hallelujah, because there's still parts in the world right now that they can't reach. It has not penetrated the, the, the sin, the iniquity, the abomination, the witchcraft in certain parts of the world yet. Hallelujah. My God, when you go there, you better have some anointing. When you go there, you better make sure you got a relationship with Christ because you're going to meet some people, some things, some devils, some demons that you've never dealt with before. Some countries don't do nothing but is in witchcraft. That's all they do. They are in idolatry. That's all they do. They hate God. They can't stand God. And even though they may have heard about God, they are in a great deception. Or you're just being stubborn where you want to do what you want to do. Ain't nobody trying to make you or force you to, uh, to accept the gospel. But it's our job as a preacher, as a clergy, to tell you the truth. Hopefully, you're sitting under somebody who got sound doctrine, not somebody who want to be a politician, and not somebody who they want everybody to like them. You want the governor to like you, the mayor to like you, the city council to like you. You want everybody to like you. And now you can't preach the word if you're worried about that. You got to preach this word that it goes through the whole world, and it got to have power when you preach. You got to have an anointing when you preach with an anointing that destroys the yoke in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Let's go to uh, Matthew 28 and 19. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. Let's read Matthew 28, verse 18 and 19. <clears throat> 18, 19, and 20. Matthew chapter 28. Here go verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Jesus is telling them to go to the, uh, go teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and, in, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. He said, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Glory to God. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Jesus is with you always, even unto the end of the world. Why and how can, do you know that Jesus is with you until the end of the world? If you got the Bible down on the inside of you, the word, if you are living this word, if you are witnessing the people, if you're giving people your testimony, listen, your greatest testimony is your lifestyle. That's it. No, ain't nobody perfect. And sometimes the hardest people to preach to is your family because they seen you grow up and all the mess that you did when you was growing up. Hallelujah. So sometimes it's hard. Glory to God to, to even to get your family to listen to. You. Glory to your mighty name. But Jesus said in verse 18, hallelujah. Let me read all of verse 18. It's a short one. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Jesus said, All power who is given to me in heaven and in earth. Glory to your name. <clears throat> Verse 19 said, Go ye therefore, go ye therefore, and teach all nations. Hallelujah baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Glory to your name. Verse 20, teaching them to observe all things, glory, whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you 
always, even until the end of the world. Jesus is with you always, even until the end of the world. Glory to your mighty name. So he's saying, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, name of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So they, they were also teaching them the Bible, talking about the Bible, and they were also baptizing them. Hallelujah. We'll get into baptism in a, a, a little bit later. Uh, there's a big argument over that. Just a little side note. Some folks telling you you should be baptized in the name of Jesus only. Some saying the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Some say you can get baptized in both. And some say it's wrong. You need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, study your Bible. Look, I do uh, Matthew 28 and 19 only because these are the words of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's it. I don't, look, you need to be water baptized, period. So if you go down in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus only, I tell people, it's the rule book. It's all in the same rule book. So you need to do it. Again, like I always tell you, I like using illustrations in basketball. I coached uh, for 12 years at a junior college as an assistant. Again, you heard this. I, when I like a trap, I like a one, two, one, one, or one, three, one. Some other coach might like a, a two, two, one. And another coach might like a, a, a one, one, three, or three, one, one. It's all in the same rule book. And it's all, uh, we, we want those different traps. It's all meant to do the same thing to rush your opponent on offense so they can make a turnover and we can get an easy basket. Hallelujah. Now let's get back to uh, um, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. You got to make sure that it's going to be preached through all the world. Let's go to Mark chapter 13. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. You got to understand something. You want to be under somebody who got a relationship with Christ, somebody who seeks God, somebody who loves God. You got to have a balance. You got to have a balance, especially if you have a family. You got to have a balance. You got to minister. You still got to minister to your kids. You still got to minister to your wife. You got to understand that. Hallelujah. Yes, God is the head, and sometimes you do sacrifice to do ministry somewhere, but you still have to minister to your family. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. You got to take family vacations. You got to do it. You can't be ministering all the time, and you'll never take no break. That's why you come up with a heart attack and a stroke, because you, you ain't done nothing to relax. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know it's demanding. I do. But you still have to take time out to rejuvenate yourself, to rejuvenate your family, to rejuvenate your marriage. Hallelujah. To rejuvenate the relationship with your kids. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew chapter 13. We're going to read verse 10. And we are going to read verse 11, Mark chapter 13, verse 10. Hallelujah. And 11. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. Neither do ye uh, premeditate but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak ye, if it is not ye, for it is not ye that speaketh, but the Holy Ghost. So he's telling you right here. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Again, in Mark chapter 13, verse 10, he said, and the gospel must first be published among all nations. The gospel must be published among all nations. 
You got to go into Iran and Iraq. You got to go into China. You got to go into some of these places that you don't want to go into. Hallelujah. Yeah, listen, all I'm saying, if you go, you better know God told you to go. You're going to be coming up with some stuff that you never really thought. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to come up against demons and devils and witches and warlock that you have not ever dealt with before. Some of those nations is breeding uh, uh, witchcraft and sorcery. They still worshiping Bola, uh, Moloch and Astra and Baal. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Let's read verse 11. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. Neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. So he's telling you right here in verse 11. Mm. But when they lead you and deliver you up, they may have captured you. Now you got to go talk to somebody, plead your case, your cause. They said, he said, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak. When he's telling you, no, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak. Hallelujah. <clears throat> neither do ye premeditate when he said premeditate think about what you're about to say but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that ye that that speak ye and he said so don't even worry about it he said i'll give you to you what to speak when to speak and how to speak hallelujah mm. He said, for it is not ye that speaketh, but the Holy Ghost. Don't worry about it. You got the Holy Ghost, I'll let the Holy Ghost speak out of you, speak through you. Don't worry about what you should say and how you should say it. I'm going to allow the Holy Ghost words your mouth. It's going to speak with boldness, going to speak with an anointing, an uh, anointing that cast out devils, that destroy yokes, that the uh, death can hear that the lame will walk and the dumb will talk, that blind eyes will be open. He said, don't premeditate on what you're going to say to these people when they trying to set you down and try to ask you what you're doing. He said, the Holy Ghost on the inside of you is going to preach for you. Hallelujah. Listen to me. You got to know this word and you got to study it. Remember, the Bible says study to show yourself approved. Hallelujah. Unto God. A workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if you study to show yourself approved, you may not know the Bible from cover to cover. But because you've studied it and because you've read it a few times, the Holy Ghost can bring it back to your remembrance and you can speak it <clears throat> with boldness and with power and with confidence and with joy and with gladness, and with great joy, and with great excitement. Hallelujah, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory, glory, glory. He said for the latter end of verse 11, in Mark chapter 13, verse 11, it says, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost on the inside of you. You speak it in tongues every day. Hey, glory to God. You are edifying yourself in the spirit. Glory to your name. So when they come up on you, you may not know what to say when they first sit you down. Hey, but just open your mouth and let the Holy Ghost use you. You speak it with joy and gladness and great excitement. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The gospel must first be published among all nations. There are still some nations and some countries around here in this world that will not allow the gospel to come in and be preached. Yes, they will. They will kill you. They will behead you. 
They will decapitate you. They will dismember you. Hallelujah. That's why when you go, you better make sure the Holy Ghost, Jesus Christ has sent you because he is the only one that's going to be able to protect you in, in something like that. Glory to your mighty name. Let's go to Mark chapter 16 and 15. Mark chapter 16. Verse 15, my God. Whoo, let, hey, let's go back because I got to work on this a little bit. Let's go back to Mark 13 and, and 11. Hmm. Let's go back to Mark chapter 13 and verse 11. Whoo, glory to God. Because hmm. it says, I'm going to read it again. But when ye shall leave, but when, but when they shall leave you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. He said when they grab you and they snatch you and throw you in the jail and throw you down, take no thought of what you should speak. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hey. It said, neither do ye premeditate. So don't think about it. Don't, you ain't got to premeditate on it. You ain't got to think about it. But whatsoever be given you in that hour. When he said, so whatever be given you in that hour, that's talking about the Holy Ghost is speaking to your spirit. The Holy Ghost is telling you what to say, or he's telling you, don't worry about it. When you come up and they get in front of you or you get in front of them, I'll give you what to speak. Hey, glory to God. You're going to be preaching to them so good. You're going to be speaking so good. They're going to probably end up getting saved and delivered <clears throat> and set free. And they're going to come to the, to the gospel. Hallelujah. They're going to come to the good news. Mm. Hallelujah. He said, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. He said, don't worry about it because it ain't going to be you speaking. It's going to be the Holy Ghost speaking. Hallelujah. He said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what they do. Don't worry about what you should say. Don't think about it. Hallelujah. Because God said, I'm going to make sure I take care of it. I'm going to get put the words down on the inside of you so you can preach that gospel. Hallelujah. Don't worry about it. It's down on the inside. The Holy Ghost is going to come up on you. Hallelujah. And you're going to preach. Hallelujah. Mm. You're going to preach the demons and devils. You're going to preach the people that are possessed. You're going to preach the people that have literally given their lives to Satan and they know it. They hate you and they can't stand you. Why? Because you're standing firm in Christ Jesus. You're standing on the word of Christ. The word of Christ is on the inside of you. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. You're going to be preaching. You're going to be evangelizing. You're going to be prophesying. You're going to give a word of wisdom and a word of knowledge, a word of understanding. You will be laying hands. Hallelujah. There will be signs and wonders. There will be miracles. You will be speaking in other tongues. You will be interpreting other tongues. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you and we honor you today. We magnify you. We lift you up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I can't get off of this part, so listen to me. Whoo, the last part of verse 11. Hallelujah. He says, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. So when you know it's not you that's speaking, you know it's the Holy Ghost that's speaking. Hallelujah. You may not have confidence in you, but you're going to have all the confidence in the world, in the Holy Ghost, in Christ Jesus, in the Word. You felt his anointing. You felt the move of God in your life, on your life. You've seen it in your family. Hallelujah. You've seen it in you. You've seen it on your family. Hallelujah. You've seen it on your kids and your wife, your mom and your dad, whether they are saved or not saved. 
the Holy Ghost has came in for you because you, hallelujah, have done so much. Hallelujah. You have given your life to Christ. Hallelujah. You have done everything in decency and in order. You have done your best to live right. You have done your best to speak right. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, not just living right up in church. Everybody can do that. But we're talking about living right on the job. We're talking about living right at home. We talking about living right on vacation. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. So this scripture right here is telling you, you don't have to worry because the Holy Ghost <clears throat> is going to speak for you. Hallelujah. Oh, <clears throat> let's go to uh, Mark chapter 16. And verse 15. Mark chapter 15, Mark chapter 16, verse 15. <clears throat> it says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go to the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. That is your job. And that's what he wants us to do. The end of the world won't come until everybody has had a chance to hear the gospel. Until everybody has had a chance to hear the good news. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Let's read verse 15 again. And he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He said, go into all the world. Go into the four corners of the earth. Go into the continents and the kingdoms and the nations and the countries and the provinces. Hallelujah. Go, hallelujah, and preach to the whole world. Go to the four corners of the earth and preach the gospel. And preach it with joy and gladness and with boldness, knowing God is with you. Knowing God is going to give you the words to say no matter where you're at. Hallelujah. No matter who is in front of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to your name. Let's read verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So now he's talking about the ones who are going to believe the word when it is preached through the whole world. He said they shall be saved. The one that believe, and the ones that don't believe, they shall be damned. Remember, everybody is not going to receive this gospel because they don't want to. Some of them are deceived, and some of them have already given their life to Satan, and they know it. Hallelujah, glory to your name. I said, and they know it. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to your name. Let's read verse 17. And, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Verse 18. They shall take up <clears throat> serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Verse 19 and 20 in, in Mark chapter 16. So then after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. 
and they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen, amen. So he's telling you, I'm going to make sure people know that I am with you. There's going to be signs and there are going to be wonders. There are going to be miracles and people are going to know that you are truly my servant. You are doing these miracles. You are doing these signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Let everybody know it. Let it be known. This is in the name of Jesus, our creator. Hallelujah. God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, who have created us. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Let's read verse 20 again. Mark chapter 16, verse 20. And they went forth and preached everywhere. And the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following them. Now look what he said in verse 20. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. See, you want somebody, you want the Lord working with your preacher. You want the Lord working with the evangelist, the bishop, the apostle, the missionary, whatever. You want God working with them. That's why you need a discernment. You need to know what spirit are they working on. It is the is it the spirit of God? Is it the spirit of the Holy Ghost? Is it the spirit of Jesus? Glory to your name. You don't want nobody working out of no strange spirit. That's why you need discernment. Glory to God. That's why you need the word on the inside of you, because somebody can be preaching this word and they can be accurate in preaching the word. Hallelujah, but it's something about their spirit. They got an ulterior motive to pull you in and then take you to another way. I just preached on that a couple of weeks ago. Hallelujah. The Bible says that if a prophet come to you, hallelujah, or a seer come to you, and they prophesy something to you. Lord, it's in the book of Deuteronomy, 13th chapter. Hallelujah. He said, and it comes to pass. And then they tell you, let's go follow another God, a God that we do not know, that we've never served. Uh, <coughs> served. <coughs> you are not to follow them. Hallelujah. Some of y'all got itchy ears and all y'all want to do is hear blessing. Oh, blessing, be encouraged, be rich. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. But you also got to know you got to do the will of God. You also got to know God has a judgment. Hallelujah. That's what the commandments are for. You can't do what you want to do and just live and sin and live in abomination and desolation and you still expecting to go to heaven. And you want to use the excuses that God loved everybody. <laughs> He does love everybody. But let me take you over here real quick. I'm going to take you to a scripture. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Ooh. Uh. Where we at? Hold on. I just messed it. I just missed it. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's what it is. I believe it's in Exodus. Hold on. Exodus. I've used this one before too. So you got to understand them. Exodus chapter 34. We're going to read verse 6 through 8. And this is a very good scripture because he is telling you that he's loving kindness, he's merciful. He said, but it does not clear the guilty. And we're going to explain that. Exodus chapter 34, verse 6 and 7. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, 
abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercies for thousands, forgiving iniquities and transgression and sin. Now listen to the last part. And that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the upon the children and upon their children's children upon the third and to the fourth generation. So God's telling you right here that, yeah, he's merciful. And who's the guilty? The guilty are the ones who don't want to change. The guilty are the ones who just hypocrite. The guilty are the ones that just don't want to, don't want to, uh, 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 don't want to change. They just don't want to change. They want to do what they want to do, however they want to do it, whenever they want to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory. Okay, let's go to um, <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 9. It says, Thou shalt bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children <clears throat> unto the third and to the fourth generations of them that hate me. So you hate God if you don't follow his commandments. He's telling you, you hate me. We're not talking about somebody who, who made a mistake and, and, and they really love God. We're talking about people who just turned their back on God, like just turned their back on him. <clears throat> just turned their back on him. For what reason? Hallelujah. Let's go to Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24 and 47. We're going to read Luke chapter 24, verse 47, 48, and 49. It says, And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in the name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and, and ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued, endowed with power from on high. So this is when he was talking about this verse 49 is talking about the disciples. Hallelujah. They waiting to be filled with the Holy Ghost before they went up into the upper room. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's go to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. We're going to end here. Acts chapter 1, hallelujah. Chapter 1, verse 8. Hmm. Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, <coughs> But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. He said, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. So you will receive power after that. The Holy Ghost is co will come upon you. You will have. You will do it in Jerusalem, and Judea, and Samaria, and unto the othermost parts of the earth. 
That's why the gospel has to be preached to the whole world before the end comes. God is not an unjust God. God is not an unfair God. Everybody will have the ability or the opportunity to give their uh, life to Christ before you go into judgment. Remember the subject. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. The gospel got to be preached in all the world. I told you, God is not an unjust God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. He wants to love you. He wants everybody to make it in. But we understand some people are the children of the devil. They have given their whole lives to the devil. Hallelujah. Uh, they they the most educated people, most sophisticated people, but they hate the Bible, they hate the gospel, and they hate you for serving God. Hallelujah. We bind every spirit of witchcraft, sorcery, Susan, and dark arts. Lord, cover us in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Let us put on the whole armor of God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. We're going to end it right here. Glory, glory, glory. But I want you to understand the gospel got to be preached to the whole world, and then the end will come. We still got a few countries around this world that won't even let anybody in there to preach the gospel. But when somebody go in there to preach the gospel, we got to make sure they real. We pray, Lord, whoever get a chance to go in there, hallelujah, let them have the anointing for deliverance. Let them have an anointing for healing. Let them rightly divide the word of truth in the name of Jesus. Let them not worry what they need to speak or what they need to say. Don't premeditate on it, the Bible says, because the Holy Ghost is going to give you what to say. The Holy Ghost is going to lead you and guide you. Hallelujah. In your prayer. The Holy Ghost is going to lead and guide you in the, hey, in the laying on of hands. Glory to your name. The Holy Ghost is going to lead you on what to speak, what to say, and how to say it. There will be miracles and there will be signs and wonders. There will be deliverance. Hallelujah. We want limbs to grow back, Lord. Whether it was amputated, a, a alligator bit it off or whatever it is. A shark bit you, let it grow back in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the glory of God will be known that God is the true God. He is the one that loved you and that made you. And we were created, yes, we were, to worship him and to serve him. Not the devil, not bells above. We were created to serve the one and true God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. We are about to go. I do thank you again for joining us. This is the Heart of David International Ministries. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Hallelujah. If you would like to leave a love offering, you can go to hodim.org. You also can leave a prayer request. You can leave a testimony. Hallelujah. You also, uh, if you want prayer request or testimony, you also can do it at hodim. 1117 at gmail.com. That is my personal uh, uh, email for the church. Again, if you'd like to leave a love offering, go to hodim.org. I want to know, are you saved? I want to know, do you really believe in God? Hallelujah. Glory to your name. I want to know, do you, are you in the right standing, the right fellowship with Christ? Hallelujah. There may be some out there that may be in a backsliding position. You have stepped away from God for whatever reason. God is telling you to come home. He still loves you. And he's also talking to the ones who've never heard him or never uh, given their lives over to him. He's telling you, I love you too. Hallelujah. Come on here. Come on in. I love you. I won't leave you, nor will I forsake you. 
Hallelujah. Now the best thing for you to do right now is to repent. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I am a sinner. Help me. I want to be saved. Hallelujah. I want to be saved. Glory to your mighty name. I want to be saved, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving me another chance. Hallelujah. Thank you for not sending me to a devil's hell when you had every right to. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray for a meek and humble spirit, but I also pray for the boldness of the Holy Ghost on the inside of me. In the name of Jesus. If you prayed and you were sincere, God has heard your prayer. You are saved. Now the next thing you need to do is read your Bible, King James Version, read your Bible, and you need to pray. Well, I don't understand it. Read it anyway. I don't know how to pray. Pray anyway. The Holy Ghost will help you. Glory to your name. Glory to your mighty name. The Holy Ghost is going to help you. In the blessed name of Jesus, I thank you for joining us today. Hallelujah. I got a testimony. We have a couple of people in Nigeria now, in Baghdad, and in Bangladesh. Glory to God. I do thank you for joining us. Again, if you have any questions, comments, you can leave it on hodim1117 at gmail.com, or you can use it on the uh, church website at hodim.org. That is also the place that you would like to give a little love offering. You go there and follow the prompt, follow the instructions. Hallelujah. I will see you Saturday. Hallelujah. At 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 Eastern Standard Time. Hallelujah. For another powerful word from the Lord. You be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen again. Hallelujah.